which of the following represents the approximate area under the curve of f of x equal to 5 minus 0.2x squared? On the closed interval 0 to 5, using r ram and 10 equals sub intervals. Well, our first step to do, uh, we need to do, is calculate our delta x, which is a 1 half. So pictorially, it's going to look like this. Uh, the curve uh, bends down, uh, going through 5, and uh, or 0, 5, I should say. There's my 10 sub intervals. Uh, and they run from 0 to 1 half to 1 to 1 and a half all the way up to 5. And since we're using uh, the right side, uh, the first place where the curve intercepts the right corner of this rectangle is at 0 0.5. So setting up my table of values, uh, I, I is going to increment from 1 to 10, 1 for each subinterval or rectangle if you want to think of it geometrically. And the values of C sub I would be the first right-hand interval is at 0 0.5, the second right-hand interval is at 1, the third right-hand interval is at 1.5, and so on until we get to the tenth right-hand interval located at x equals 5. So in the sequence, uh, which I'll designate C sub I, we want to find a way to relate the uh, I, the number of the interval, to the uh, x coordinate of that subinterval in the right-hand corner. And one way we can do that is to use a linear equation from our earlier math days, y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times x, uh, the quantity x minus x sub 0. And relating this to sequences, I'm going to, I'm going to rewrite this as c sub i minus c sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity i minus i sub 1. And I just note, even though I am using c sub 1 and i sub 1, which in this case will be uh, 1 and 0 0.5. I actually could use any one of these values. I could use C sub 9 if I want and I sub 9 and that would uh, also give me the same answer. So replacing uh, for C sub 1 I'm going to use uh, 0 0.5 and for I sub 1 I replace that with 1 and uh, using a little bit of algebra and simplifying we find out that C sub I is equal to I over 2. Now intuitively some of you may realize that uh, the value in uh, C sub i is really just half of what is in i. So 1 over 2 is 0.5, 2 over 2 is 1, 3 over 2 is 1.5, and so on. Even if I go down here to the bottom, 10 over 2 is 5. But if you weren't able to figure that out intuitively, uh, you can always use this linear method as a fallback. Now, calculating our height of each rectangle, uh, each one of these rectangles would be evaluated at f of c sub i. And recall over here on the other page that f of x is equal to 5 minus 0 0.2 times x squared. So I replace x with i over 2 to get this expression. Now the area, uh, the area of each interval is delta x times f of c sub i. Delta x is equal to 1 half. Let me just highlight that so it stands out a little bit. So uh, there's my delta x. That's equal to 1 half. And uh, f of c sub i is this entire expression right here. 5 minus 0 0.2 uh, times i squared, i over 2 squared. And also note that we are uh, summing from uh, 1 to 10. Uh, 1 is our first interval. 10 is our last interval. So our correct answer is going to be d.